Morning, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, today's question comes from Brenda Miner, also from Michigan, and it reads like this. We are interested in getting heritage pigs. What type would you recommend for the family farm? We are in Michigan. Thanks for helping standing up for family farms, Brenda. All right, well, let's kind of clarify a couple things here first. She says that she wants uh, a heritage pig. A heritage pig would be one that has not been hybridized, all right? Uh, there are 126 that exist in the world. The ones that you're looking at right here, these are Mangalitsas. Um, the reason I'm sitting in my pickup right now is because it is blowing outside and it is really cold. So I, you wouldn't even be able to hear the... <clears throat> the audio on this so I have to sit in the pickup I got the window open right now but um, these pigs uh, do very well in the winter time and what I would recommend is buying small pigs at the end of the season like just getting close to uh, fall that's when pigs are cheaper because most people don't want to feed them throughout the winter because they think it's a real pain you got to get water to them and all that stuff little secret these pigs eat snow. I don't water these pigs all winter long, and I haven't watered my pigs <clears throat> in the winter for um, a good six years now when we found out about that and quit watering them. And then we watch they eat snow, and they'll stand there and eat snow as long as they need to. Uh, then the, the question is, is when we start running out of snow but it's stu still too cold for water, what do you do? And uh, what I do is I pile up snow when I'm plowing, and then I'll just take a scoop of snow and drop it in there with my front end loader. This group right here, they're getting ready to go out on pasture. They're, they're, not, they're not huge yet. Let's see, can you even see them? There they are over there. Uh, they're kind of eating a little bit. There's about 30 of them in this pen. And these guys are coming up on, coming up on a year old. And you can see heritage pigs don't grow as fast as uh, hybridized just normal farm pigs. Uh, okay, we've got 23 days left in our Indiegogo and we have made over $5,400 on that and that is a total victory. That's going to pay for our bunk beds to go into the dormitory. That's going to pay for the finishing up of the floor covering and and most of the uh, the window coverings. We still have 23 days left though and we'd really like to push that out as far as we can. We've got a pavilion to build, we've got some outdoor bathrooms to build and I really would appreciate your help. Remember, anyone can farm. Have a good day.